Photography for me is a meditation. I enjoy being out in nature and I love art and I love making art. Christy Fernholz is a fine art photographer who draws from the splendor around her. She lives on a farm near Lacoparle Lake with an undisturbed prairie and captures the life of changing natural habitats with her lens. I really enjoy going back to the prairie and seeing what's um, blooming. I can get a close up of a prairie onion, which is a tiny plant, but most people aren't gonna get down on their knees and in the ticks and poison ivy and, and really look at the plant. So it's kind of fun to document that and bring it to them. What the prairie looks like is how I can tell the different times of year. Um, so right away it's, it's really green and there's just a few little plants that are blooming. Golden Alexanders and you know, you'll find some past flowers and prairie smoke. And then all of a sudden the prairie will turn kind of a purple with the lead plant, um, some purple echinacea, and then the prairie clover will come, prairie rose, and it'll just be kind of purple and, and pink kind of in the middle of the summer. And, and then at this time of year, you've got all the, the Maximilian sunflowers and the big blue stem starts, it gets gold. So it's, you know what time of year is by just looking around at the prairie and it just, it changes colors. And that's, that's really fun to see. People really enjoy pasque flowers. And a lot of the prairie flowers too are, are things that people remember growing up. They went out into the prairie and they picked pasque flowers and they have a, a really good memories about that or they remember their mom talking about it. So um, people really love those old prairie flowers. And I think that's one of the things that I love about being out in the prairie too is these plants, grasses and flowers have been here forever, longer than me and it's just a joy to be around them and, and to sort of take it in. Well, I've been doing photography since I was little. My mom always had a nice SLR camera growing up. We had a dark room at, in the high school and so I learned with the dark room um, and just kept doing it. Christy holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Photography from the University of Minnesota Duluth. In 2007, she left the darkroom for digital photography, which freed up time for her art. As Christy's full-time job is planning director for the Upper Minnesota Valley Regional Development Commission. As part of her job, she's been the lead coordinator for the Meander Art Crawl since 2008. The Meander Art Crawl is the first weekend in October each year. It's all local artists in the five county region and I've been in the Meander since it started in 2004. It's great for marketing the local artists. It's, it's also a really great way for people to see our region. People come from all over, the Twin Cities, South Dakota, Wisconsin, all over the all over the United States. I set up in Milan, my hometown. I bring out all of my inventory and sell prints, wood prints, canvas, cards, sells a few tiles and just really enjoy talking to people about prairie and about what they're seeing in my photographs and yeah it's it's a really fun weekend this is a new milkweed that oh. I found this year I so really white so it was really fun I mean the the prairie burn allowed for a lot of new things to emerge uh -huh. um, but then we also had a few people come out to want that wanted to look at the prairie so I had somebody from the Nature Conservancy we found this it's called world milkweed Huh. It's tiny. I mean, it's just little. It's funny because some, some photos I, I don't necessarily love right away, but the longer I look at them, I, I love. So I, I, there's something about this one that I've loved, and I like it more and more that I see it. And I think it's just so simple. That's one of my favorites. While Christy is known for her prairie photography, her eyes are always open to seeing striking imagery in ordinary settings, like her backyard clothesline. These things are not straight, I, not very good, but it just like the light hit it, so I went and took a photo of it, and I started selling it, and people really, I mean, it's just so bright and vibrant. I have some of my daughter, she was walking down the, the driveway, I didn't stage the photograph, but it's her in a tutu, and she's just walking her bike, and. Right here, there's a big uh, cloud, kind of impending cloud coming, and, and that, that's that been kind of an image that's um, one of my favorites of all time. A couple years ago, I had a, a SMOT grant from the Southwest Minnesota Arts Council, 
and I did. That's when I started to do the encaustic, uh -huh. and so I was going around to all the small towns. So that's why I've got some of the elevators shot. I just went to all the small towns and tried to do some different things because because I take a lot of prairie shots, and I was just trying to do some different broad. Yeah, just, just have some different subject matter. So yeah, so, yeah, yeah, and you do produce. You would probably like appreciate that. this too because this is our flooring when we did our oh, house remodel, really? and then so I had Brad cut up cut up our flooring that, that was left over. Oh, that's funny. For Christy, the joy of photography is bringing people in to see the splendor of rural life and prairie habitats. I'm looking for something that catches my eye. I'm recording a little bit of the beauty. I'm wanting to tell a story of to other people who, who maybe aren't out here of what what it looks like. Conveying a message would be that this, the prairie is worthwhile, that it's worth saving, that there's things here that were here long before we were and we want to keep it that way. 